old story of the tortoise and the hare. You know, go back to, to 2002. Gold was 250 bucks. And since then, it's outpaced the stock market. It's done better than the S&P 500. Silver was three or four or five bucks. Gold is up from 2002, and that's been a long 20 years, but it's up what? Um, almost ninefold, eightfold, ninefold. It's outpaced the market. So it isn't glitzy. It, 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 it's, it's going to be something that is a methodical rise. What it's done is preserve your purchasing power since 2000, since the dawn of time. But if we use that frame of reference, I don't think people quite realize that it's outpaced all of the stock market uh, indices since 2000. And when does it switch? I don't know when it flips. When it flips and it moves up by 100 or 200 or $300 in a day and silver by four or five, ten dollars $10 in a day, be careful what you wish for. And that's why I tell people, you're, you're missing everything if you're buying it to get rich. Yeah, I'm keenly aware when silver goes up in value. I am aware of it. But that's not why I own it. I hope to God I never need to use it. I truly do. I hope to give it to my kids someday. Um, I hope I know that when they give it to their kids, it will have value. Um, while the dollar is losing currently, what, 10% per year, 15% per year, if we listen to John Williams, you know, the money creation, the inflation, the debasement of the currency, it's ridiculous. And it, it it's a situation where you can't, look, some people can't hang on, I get it. Maybe they bought it for the wrong reasons. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they just need the money. I understand that. And I'm not um, unsympathetic to the reality of that. But you have to trust your gut. You have to have a, a, a vision of what is happening. Look, this is a, a once in a generation shift. And the dollar could very well lose its world reserve status, at least its singular world reserve status. And what does that mean? That means everything that's valued in dollars will we'll catch a bid as the dollar dumps, commodities in particular. Look what Zoltan Pozar says. This is the age of commodities, Bretton Woods 3. Look at what the biggest money in the world is doing. They are accumulating. And if any of them did it too quickly, it would only awaken the elephant who would come in and, and cut off their nose to spite their face. The methodical acquisition of it using price suppression to do it to reposition if you look at it from the proper angle is incredibly bullish and um, it's also incredibly frustrating if you don't if you just you know i was on another show the other day and uh, <clears throat> he says you know when the market collapses very often you'll see gold sold off that's a popular mantra Gold sells off because people throw out the baby with the bathwater. There's a lot of margin debt. They sell it to cover their debt, to cover their exposure to a, to a market that's fallen. And I said, no, no, no. That's damage control. That's an algorithm that the, the, the powers that be, in the same vein, they don't want to provide gold and silver eagles and buffaloes to the public. They don't want you to be incentivized to dump your dollars, to cash out of your bank account and to go running but the FDIC had a meeting, I don't know how many weeks or months ago, and, and it's a, there was a, an image of, of one of the members saying they're getting prepared for a bank run, and they think it's going to come. And the big money understands this. So when the, the markets collapse, it's not margin debt being covered with the selling of gold and silver. It's the opposite of that. It's damage control. So one of these days... One of these days, you will see the price go to levels that people, I think, uh, will be shocked by. And with that, the wealth that will be created by a lot of people who have a lot of gold and silver, it's not going to be like you're going to be really psyched to put on your Rolex watch, go out in your new convertible and drive to a steak restaurant when everyone in this country is destitute. And I think that's really kind of what people need to think about. Now, I hope it doesn't come to that. I never accumulated the majority of my career gold and silver because I was afraid of something like this happening.
you know, everyone up doom and gloom, doom. no, I own it as wealth that I would pass on to my children. That should be part of every portfolio. But I'm scared. And if you're not scared right now with what's going on in the world and what's going on in this country and what's happening to the dollar and the big party that's happening over there that the U.S. hasn't been invited to, and we are in fact are only incentivizing greater exclusion from the party, then you are missing the boat. If you're buying this to get rich, you're missing the boat. That's the same mentality that that push cryptocurrencies into stratospheric levels and look what's happening now. Look what's happening with Binance now, the biggest crypto exchange. It's this close from being the next FTX, it looks like to me. So greed is great on the way up. Fear is a whole lot more motivating. And I'm afraid for my family. I'm afraid for this country. I hate to say it. I don't buy gold and silver to get wealthy. And if you are listening to this and you own gold and silver to get wealthy, wake up. You're making a big mistake. You want to get wealthy with gold and silver, go buy some leverage mining shares. Gold and silver are your wealth. Mining shares are a derivative of gold that can make you incredibly wealthy, but they're also volatile. So look, I, I, I think people need to understand that. And it's not just for doom and gloom. Let's say I'm only half right and things collapse and interest rates spike and asset prices collapse. And those of you who have wealth outside the system thrive, not just survive. Now you've got a whole stockpile of gold that you sell at the top and transition into things that are now collapsing. This is how wealthy people get more wealthy. They buy assets when they're on sale. Assets feed you, liabilities eat you. And you have to know that when prices are low, that's the time to accumulate not when they're high. And there will come a time to sell some of your gold and silver. And maybe that's when we see a rebound. But after things have already collapsed to a point where real valuations, real price discovery is in line with the cost of money. And it's been the manipulation of the cost of money, i.e. interest rates that have created the, these massive distortions. So it's not just to save your ass if everything collapses, it's also to take advantage of opportunities that no one will be able to do so because they're trapped inside the system that is collapsing.